There are three long vowels in Arabic, in fact. There are three letters of the Arabic alphabet which are used to lengthen the sound of the short vowel. So actually, a long vowel is a short vowel plus an extension. And that extension is a letter. So we have three letters. We have alif, well, and yet. So, why use these letters? That's an excellent question. If you pronounce alif, this alif matches the sound of fatha. They both make the sound a. Ah. And well also matches the sound of dhamma, which is a short vowel. They both make the same sound. And yet matches the sound of kasra. They both make the sound e. If the short vowel, for example, a, follows the consonant b, it will be b. B is a consonant with a short vowel. If this short vowel takes, for example, in duration a second. The long vowel takes two seconds in duration, and this letter is followed by alif that matches fatha. So the sound is b. That's the long vowel. B is the short vowel. B is the long vowel. Bu is the short vowel sound. Boo is the long vowel sound. B is the short vowel sound. B is the long vowel sound. So, alif, well, yeah, here are used as vowels. They have sukun. And they're